This is lesson 19 homework, module 7, grade 2. Write your name. I'm just going to write a name down here. Write your own name. Measure each set of lines in inches, in inches, and write the length on the line. Complete the comparison sentence. So we're measuring in inches. I'm going to use an inch ruler. Be careful you don't use the centimeter side. Those are the smaller. The lines are a lot closer together. You won't get the same measurement if you use if you use the wrong unit. So line A, and we can see these lines aren't right next to each other. The ends don't really line up. They don't match up. So be careful about that. Make sure if you look at a zero line on your ruler that you line up with your zero line and not the end of your ruler. If you don't have a zero line, on your ruler, then use then use the end of your ruler. But you want to make sure you get that first inch right. This is exactly five inches. So I'm going to write the length right on the line. Five inches I N for inch. And then line B I'm going to measure here. That's that's three inches. Okay, so line A measured about 5 inches. Line B measured about 3 inches. Line A is about, well, 5 is 2 more than 3, so it's about 2 inches longer. Now, if you measured this to, for length to see how much longer it was, you might have thought it was about 3 inches longer, but remember... They didn't start at the same place, so you can't really you can't do it that way. You have to figure out from five is two more than three. That's how you do it. Line C. That's four inches. Line D. That's about three inches. And then line C measured about C is about four. Line D is about three. Line D is about, line D is shorter. So three is one inch shorter than four. So it's about one inch shorter. And now we have solve. Check your answers with a related addition or subtraction sentence. So eight inches minus five inches equals three inches. And what do we have here? We have a missing add end. And this is all in inches. So if we, we could draw this as a number bond. 8, 5, and 3. And this is the related addition sentence. That's 5. The other one has to be 3. 3 inches plus 5 inches equals 8 inches. And you can write units in your number bond. Page two. And now we have some more missing add in problems. Uh, and remember, the directions for this are to check your answers with a related addition or subtraction sentence. So in this one, they set the sentence up for us. But on this second page, we're going to have to write our own. So we just have a missing add-in problem here. We have 8 plus something is 19. And the difference between 8 and 19 is 11. And now I have to check this with subtraction. We should get start with the minuend should be the largest number, 19 minus 8, that should equal 11. But we should do this in centimeters. So let's write our units in there just to be consistent. And you don't have to write out the whole word centimeter. You can just write CM for the abbreviation. 17 centimeters minus 8 centimeters. So we're looking at 17 minus 8. That's 9. And then, since this is a subtraction, we're going to check it with, we're going to write a related addition sentence, which means we, if we take 
the 17 apart to 8 and 9, we should be able to put the 8 and 9 back together and get the 17, right? So we should have 8cm plus 9cm equals 17cm. Now here we have addition and we have a missing add-in problem. We have the sum. So 18, what do we need to add to 6 to make 18? 12. And you can check this with subtraction. Because we're going, now we have addition, we're going to check it with subtraction. 18 cm minus 6 cm equals 12 cm. And you can, you can check that right on your ruler. You can use your ruler for it. Now I haven't highlighted past this the 18, but I could just go ahead and count six of them back. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there's the 12. That's what I should have. <clears throat> and now we're using inches. And we just have, we just change the units. We're doing the same thing, but we're just changing the units. They're inches. So now our inches are going to have INs instead of CMs. So we need 2 plus something equals 7. That's going to be 5. And now we check this with subtraction. And it's 7 inches minus 2 inches. 7 minus 2 is 5. And... 12 inches minus something equals 8. Now 12 minus 4 is 8, so this has to be, but there's no units written here, so, so we have to write our units. These are inches, I N. So this is 12 minus 4 inches equals 8. And then the addition, we should be able to add the 8 and the 4. 8 inches plus 4 inches. 8 plus 4 does equal 12. 